Welcome to Pro Stitcher Tutorials. I'm Ken Sandberg. I want to show you how easy it is to set an area, skew in a block, and quilt a design. First, we'll start by moving the machine to the top of where I want to set up my area. We'll select the Area tab to give me all of my options for creating an area. I want to use the multi-point function because I want to be very exact while I'm setting up my area. So starting in the top left corner of my design, I will push the multi-point button and drop my first area point. I'll start in the top left corner and do my first multi-point, move over to the top right corner, add my next point, move down to the bottom right corner, add another point, and add my final point in the bottom left corner. I now have a square area ready for our design. Let's go on the screen to the File tab and select Design. I want to use this feather block that I just recently opened and it will open on the screen. Now, let's put the design inside my area. Let's select the Modify tab because we want to modify this design. From the ribbon, we'll choose Skew. And in the sidebar, we'll choose Skew, just the basic one at the top with a little star inside the box. My design now fits perfectly and it's ready to quilt. When I'm ready to quilt, I always select the Pro Stitcher tab first and make sure on the ribbon that the Quilt button is selected. In the sidebar, very important, you want to make sure that the Stitch button is selected. If you don't have this selected, you'll end up with what we call ghost stitching or air stitching. The machine will move, but it won't quilt. Not exactly what we're looking for. We want to make sure and have our start tie off and end tie off selected and our pull up on, which means that the machine will take a stitch, pull up that bobbin thread and allow us to hold on to that while those first few stitches are taken so we don't end up with any nesting on the bottom of our quilt. Everything else looks in order. Let's go ahead and touch the run button. We now have this screen pop up that says verify settings and we'll make sure that everything is set up the way that we want to. Our stitches are normal, our tie offs are on, we have our tie off count and the distance and the type of tie off which is a micro. Our pull up is on, we have our speed set, our stitches per inch and our auto jump. And you notice that very important message at the bottom of that box. It says, make sure the needle's up. So make sure that needle's up. Nobody wants to rip a hole in their quilt. When we're really sure we're ready, we'll go ahead and touch proceed. The machine will move over into place and you'll be off and finishing your quilt before you know it.